Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack with another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. So this week there was a disturbance in the forest. That's right, in the wood carving community. And today we'll talk a little bit about the YouTube video that set that thing off. I'll also share some information with you about a carving or a sharpening jig, I should say, that I'm pretty excited about, can't wait to make one for myself. We'll see some new blog posts. Yep, two brand new blog posts from different blogs. We'll spin around YouTube to catch up with some videos on wood carving. And we'll have some links for you. All of the resources that I mentioned in the video, as usual, will be posted in the description below this video and then also in the comment section. Let's get started. Well, let's start off with a little bit of controversy. Yes, it's been all across social media. Four days ago, there was a video posted. The Coffee and Carving Show has a new video, and the title is, Did Doug Quit YouTube? Now, Coffee and Carving comes from Doug Linker and Alec LaCasse. Well, right off the bat, a lot of people thought, oh my goodness, Doug is not going to make any more videos. What are we going to do? Well, I suggest you take a look at the new episode of the Coffee and Carving Show. In it, Doug explains that he's reached a point in his life where he's kind of reassessing. There's some milestones that have occurred, things have changed for him, and he wants a better work-life balance as he moves forward. He talks about, you know, having more fun, doing things that he enjoys a lot. And there's only so much time in a day, right? Anyway, I really suggest you take a look at the brand new video from the Coffee and Carving Show and gain some more insights about Doug's future plans. Take a look. Well, speaking of Alec Lacasse, Alec also has a new video that he published just recently, and it's all about the Green Man character. It's a short video, and Alec gives us a history lesson about the Green Man throughout the ages. Turns out the, the Green Man itself is sort of this mythical character that goes way back, has appeared in various locations over centuries. And in addition to that, Alex shows you a really awesome looking green man that he carved, and a green man that he carved when he was 12 years old. Uh, believe me, it looks really good for a 12 year old. Anyway, I think you'll enjoy it. So. Hop on over to Alec Lacasse's website, the YouTube channel, and take a look. Well, I'm pretty excited about this next sharpening jig. You know, there are lots and lots of sharpening references all over the internet, more than two million in total. While researching some topics and interests for this week's episode, I came across a video, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. The man who published the video is Vincent Fye. And he's showing us a very simple and elegant solution on how to help us sharpen gouges and chisels with just two things, an eye bolt and a scrap piece of wood. Yeah, pretty simple. So what he has done, and you can see it in the video, he took a large eye bolt, screwed it into a block of wood. He also cut the eye bolt so that it's kind of a U shape instead of a full circle and made a tool rest. And that tool rest, as he demonstrates in the video, is very effective for sharpening gouges. I imagine you can do the same with a skew or other chisels. It's pretty exciting to me and very, very simple. So adjusting the angle of the bevel is as simple as turning the eye bolt to either raise the eye bolt or lower the eye bolt. So simple. Anyway, like I said, I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to make one for myself. So go on over there and take a look. The link, like I said earlier, is going to be in the description and also in the comments section. My friend Sarah over at the Whittled Lovelies blog has a brand new article she posted today. In it, she's telling us a little bit about a very rare occasion. Um, it's her opportunity to meet with and talk with an Italian chainsaw carver by the name of Borba. We see you. Now, why is it rare? Well, although chainsaw carving is very popular here in North America, US and in Canada, 
There are very few Italian chainsaw carvers, and Borba lives in a very small mountainous village. But Sarah had an opportunity to meet with him and learn more about him and his journey. In the article, she talks about how he got interested in carving and became a chainsaw carver, how he goes about the creative process and what inspires him uh, to make various carvings, some of his favorites, that sort of thing. So check out the Whittled Lovelies blog, and while you're there, make sure you subscribe so you'll catch an article every month. There's also a new blog post from Donald Mertz over Would Be Carver. And it's an interesting one. It talks about just doing it. That's right. The article is proposing that the hardest part of any new project is just getting started. Just making that first cut. And throughout the article, Don shares some various ideas and inspirations, especially for those carvers who might be staring at a block of wood and just drawing a blank. So if you ever have that situation, this could be really helpful for you. Go on over to Woodby Carver and take a look. Well, next we'll head to South America, Peru in particular, where we meet Charlie Brune. Charlie has a YouTube channel where he publishes a number of videos about wood carving, and he's got a brand new video that's somewhat unusual. What makes it unusual is that he is power carving, so to speak, with an electric engraving pen. Yeah. In this video, he's carving a spider on a stick using the electric engraver. And then he also uses a, a couple of different flex cut tools to help shape the stick. Now, this video is just under 12 minutes long. And if you take a look, I suggest you turn off the audio. Just mute the audio because really all you're going to hear is the sound of that electric engraver for 12 minutes and you don't need that. <laughs> but it's an interesting video. So go on over and take a look. Over at the Whittling Woods YouTube channel, Ken has a brand new video. This one's a tutorial for beginners about how to carve a couple of different mushrooms. And he provides two different shapes and two different pieces of wood. So he has a block of eastern white pine and a block of butternut. He has a couple of different knives. And he takes you through the tutorial step by step using a knife only. And Ken adds commentary along the way to help beginners learn. At the end, he also shows you a little bit about dry brushing with a quick demo. And then how he applies Howard Feed and Wax as the finishing touch. So, take a look and see what you think. Folks, I want to thank everybody. We're close to 900 subscribers now. The channel is growing, and I appreciate your support and your help. If you could, tell your friends, all right? Um, share the news. And one of the best ways to do that is just to hit the like button. Thanks again. We'll see you next week.